Hi guys, so got 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. I've already got one side in place, so that means that I've got the white side fully complete and green, red, blue, orange all complete around the edge. You don't want any mismatches, say like yellow and blue or anything like that. That is sorted, okay? Now, yellow is always opposite white, so our top side is going to be yellow when we've solved this. Okay, I did not learn an algorithm how to get this white side in place. Hopefully you can do it by just playing around and moving the cubes where you want them. There's just a few tricky things that hopefully you'll figure out. Now each cube, um, you need to think about whether it's in the right place. This cube, we've said yellow's on top, so yellow, blue, red, that's in the perfect place, perfect orientation. Okay, This cube is in completely the wrong place because it should be yellow, orange, blue. And this is yellow, green, orange. Green is over here, so it needs to swap. This one is in the wrong place because it's yellow, orange, blue, and it should be green, orange, yellow. That one's in the right place, which is good, but wrong orientation because the green should be here, red here, yellow here. So we'll talk about spinning that in a minute. All we want to do first off is swap these two cubes, then they're in the right positions. So white underneath, I'll show you how to do it. You go left, up, right, up, left, down, right, down. Okay. White is still underneath. Now, if you just twist this once to the left, you will see this is in the right place now, this is in the right place. These two have swapped. That is an algorithm I would watch again if I was you and learn. It's very useful. The second algorithm that you need to know is how to spin around cubes. Okay, This cube's in the right position but wrong orientation. We want this one to spin. Think about which way we want it to spin. We want it to spin anti-clockwise. Imagine here's the clock face. We want the yellow to spin on top anti-clockwise. The algorithm for anti-clockwise is have the cube you're talking about furthest away from you, the white side always faces down, this will get mixed up but don't worry, keep the cube like this. Okay, This facing away from you, anti-clockwise you go at the bottom, C for clockwise, C, A for anti-clockwise, A. Okay. So just to show you that again, white side underneath, okay, this is the one we're changing. C, C, A, A, C, C, A, A, okay? It's right now. Can you see? Turn the cube at the top to the left. Now I've got two more to go. This needs to spin into place. This is our white side that needs to be faced down, even though it's mis mixed up. This cube here has to be spun anti-clockwise. Have it away from you, do the same algorithm. C, C, A, A, C, C, A, A. It's in place. Turn it one to the left at the top. The last cube to turn. And the algorithm again is anti-clockwise. So the exact same thing. Hold these two cubes. C, C, A, A. I lost count of how long I've done it for then. C, C, A, A. Okay? You get your cube like this, spin it into place. Done. All I need to show you now is the second part to the algorithm for spinning, which is exactly the same but it's if you had to spin the other cube um, clockwise. Imagine we had to spin this one clockwise. It's away from you, here, like that. Okay, this is just for demonstration purposes. We don't have to do this now, but in case you have to spin your cube clockwise. It's the same thing, CCAA, CCAA. However, instead of starting this way, you start that way, that's the only difference. 
C, C, A, A, C, C, A, A. Spun. Okay, done. Hope that helps you. Um, these are the only two algorithms I've learned, and I can now solve it um, in around a minute, depending on the configuration, but from about 30 seconds to two minutes. Hope it helps you. Any comments, just ask. Thanks for watching.